Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to In Alex's Shook Reaction. And I am super excited because for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an interesting new video from Ms. ALR now. This one is actually called Not Able to Increase My Semaglutide Ozempic Dose, Target Grocery Haul and Food Aversion. Yeah, she's so averse to food, y'all. That's what I thought, right? Watching these videos over the years. This woman is just so averse to food. I mean, I I don't get it. It just doesn't make sense. I honestly was not going to do this video, but I heard some rumblings on the Twitter. There's some interesting things discussed. Apparently, she's making all sorts of excuses on why this might be the end of this Ozempic journey. So I had to go ahead and see it for myself because I, for one, believe it or not, had a little bit of hope for this journey this time. Not saying it's over already, guys, but the cracks are forming, so to speak, huh? Even after all these years watching these videos, failure after failure, it did seem a little different this time. But what do I know? It could just be a rocky patch for her. I'm not going to put the kibosh on it. Let's see for ourselves and get right into it. I mean, shall we? People have not exactly been happy with Amber lately. I was just looking at her channel trying to figure out where did it change? Because I know that people were excited for her to get on Ozempic and she is losing weight. What was it this time? I'm trying to figure out like, <laughs> I know there was something, maybe something she said in a video. I'm just like blanking right now on what the T is, or maybe it's just this video in general, or maybe people are just not enjoying them. I mean, Amber, is just someone if you're going to watch her on your on her own it's just going to be something that you put on in the background now while you fold the clothes so hello guys good morning hey girl how goes it let's get that turned up a little bit so it is june 17th welcome to a new vlog today my i always have to look at my calendar to see okay so 17th no way so she's actually a whole entire week behind we were on six days behind. What if she's not even on Ozempic anymore? Did she say the 17th? Yeah. A week, girly pop. She could be like 50 pounds heavier and off the Ozempic by now, girls. And we wouldn't know. Today my hair is half up, half down because it is just annoying me and I don't want it up and I don't want it fully down. So it's like... Is that why she keeps them so old? It's not because she struggles so much to vlog current days because... I mean, that don't make sense. Like, she could have put this up. She could have put this up, like, right after she filmed it, no? Or, like, a couple days after. Maybe it's that she's trying to construct a narrative with new and old clips, right? That's what people think. But is she that maniacal? I don't know. Like, let's meet in the middle. So today, I'm going right. to be wearing my new Paris Hilton. Because sometimes I hear some of these theories and I'm thinking people are giving Amber or Foodie a little too much credit sometimes when it comes to certain things that people say. I just feel like, nah, like she did not mastermind that. But then I, I got myself second guessing. Maybe she did. I mean, they've been on here trolling for years, so they got to be good at it by now, huh? Platinum Rush. I actually have this lotion, random fact. I can do anything good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's trolling. Okay, you guys, so we have a Target haul. It is a grocery Target haul. So I literally only... What do you do? Oh, I troll on YouTube. Needed a couple things, but then this happened. I know I'm not the only one that happens too. Okay, first things first. I saw this and I was like, excuse me, ma'am. So these are protein chips, but they're literally made with chicken breasts, egg whites, and bone broth. There was several different flavors. I got the sea salt and vinegar. So is bone broth still in? Bone broth, to me, I always have associated it in my head with ANA, if you know, you know. But um, it is something that has been popular in recent years, huh? And with this Ozempic, I do, like, I have a love-hate with Ozempic, you know what I'm saying? Because for people like Amber... If it's helping her, she obviously needs it. Let's see how this goes. But then you've got other people using it and promoting being super thin. That's not great either. It's always like too many extremes, folks. So we're definitely going to be trying those. So I'm currently going through a food aversion. Yes, I am. This happens to me. My worst one that I've ever gone through was like little seaweed snacks. I was... She has a food aversion, guys. Obsessed for a while. This was back in like 2018. 
And ever since then, like I can barely even look at a, at a seaweed snack before I feel like I'm literally gonna puke. So you're wondering, what am I having a food aversion to right now? That is so weird, like a seaweed snack. I've had those before and I didn't really like them. They're just not good. I will have this situation where there's this certain kind of chips. It's the Utz's hell of a good dip French onion flavored chips. <laughs> I cannot eat them because one time, and this was like maybe a decade ago by now, I drank a lot and then I just ate a ton of these chips and then got sick. So now I can, I can't, I can't eat them. I just can't. I, they just taste gross to me. I don't know what it is. These, it's like these salami sticks and you I'm like afraid of those chips. So many for a serving that it like satisfies me and I don't feel triggered while I eat them. Isn't that crazy? And let me tell you how it happened. So I was like, so she can no longer have those pork sticks, but she had so many. Excited. I was about to open a new pack because I. Or is that what it was? Was it a situation where she ate so many? Because that's happened to me and I'm just like. I've had my fill or you just overdo it. You get a pack, you eat it, and then you get another and another and another until eventually you just go to the grocery store, see them, and you don't want them anymore because you just had too much. Because I just went to Trader Joe's and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have me a little snack. And oh no, another trigger from Trigger Joe's. And oh my God, I've never experienced this before, but I opened it and it was just a bunch of like white dots on it. And I'm pretty sure it was just mm -hmm. like the fat from the salami coming out and like, dots and i don't do dots and it was just all over and i was like oh my god i mean those are those meat sticks right hella processed they kind of remind me of dog food very similar well dog treats right very kind of similar the fat was coming out Ew. so i had to throw them away because like literally it made me ill even just looking at it so i was like okay i don't like wasting food but we did what we did let's grab a new pack I just couldn't even deal with that. Turns out they were all like that. So now I am completely turned off by those things. Oh, was it just like they're only really shelf stable for so long? Or that was just a natural thing that happens and I'm sure it didn't taste any different unless they were like super old, but that clip wasn't that long ago, huh? Like disgust, which really sucks. So, you know, we gotta find a different beef stick. I really like the, um, which, what is the brand of it? I don't know, there's a brand of beef stick that I really enjoy, but like Target never has them. It is these, Duke's. Original recipe is great, but the hot and spicy is my personal fave. Girl, cause we really need to know about these sticks. So Target don't got them, the Dukes. Let me give them a try. I'm not a super big meat snack person, but I do enjoy a good spicy jerky for sure. These kinds of ones, the small sausages kind of remind me of dog treats. I prefer the jerky at the end of the day. These are absolutely delicious. After you open the bag, put it in the fridge and it's just like, bon appetit. So I was like, okay, I'll just try this, this one. It's Old Trapper Deli. Get one of those sticks with a stick of cheese. Just eat it like both in the same bite. Mm -hmm. Style beef sticks. I have no idea. So we're gonna try that. I also love me some beef jerky. So I got me my favorite kind, which is just peppered. So I am trying to lessen my carbs. I'm not doing like low carb or anything, but if I can get like a burger with no bun or replace fries with a. It's almost giving like a keto vibe with the bunless burger, all the jerky and meat snacks. She is giving off a keto vibe with this low carb. With the salad, I'll do it. But like sometimes I do want just like a little bit of pasta. And I feel safer making pasta at home versus like getting it at a restaurant because restaurants give you so much food. But here at home, I could easily just weigh out a serving and call it a day. So I got some. So true with the pasta though. Those pasta dishes. Is it that Amber can't control herself and just get a box or? Angel hair pasta. I needed some more eggs, so I got some of them. I just get. I thought the Ozempic stopped you from eating so much. The egg lands best, which is literally the best. So I got some Not that she should be going to the restaurant. Eggs. Some sirloin steak strips, which is literally just the strips cut up. You can't really tell. I'm just gonna keep it in this bag for the fridge. But these are just so easy to season, make really tasty and put in the air fryer, like delish. And then I got. She got all this at Target. I didn't even know they had steak. I try not to do my, I shop at Target all the time, but when it comes to grocery options, I try to keep that very minimal because I know it's usually cheaper at the grocery store, but not always actually. Three of one of my favorite Amy's. It's just the chili mac bowl, which I add some tapatio to it and it's so good. So again, I did get three of those. This haul is like $200. <laughs> 
here's the second one. Here's the third one. It's not very much, but yeah, like that's the prices these days. And then I got some cottage cheese, small curd. I got some of these four cheese mini raviolis. I've never- I can just tell by how much she's pulling out of the bags. Like two bags is like a hundred at Target. I've tried this before, but it seems like every ravioli I taste, I enjoy. So I know I'm going to like it. I got some more shaved Brussels sprouts because I really enjoy these with chicken sausage. Um, I remember the last time I made it. People were saying how I didn't season it and stuff. Girl, I season everything. I'm a seasoner. I got some. She's the one putting on like a little too much seasoning, but not the good seasoning, like the Mrs. Dash bullshit. Taco blend, uh, shredded cheese, some Colby Jack string cheese. Last but not least, I got some chicken sausage in Italian style and then some Cajun style okay. adoli. Probably pronounced that wrong. So that is everything. And now Chicken apple sausage with mustard, girl. Can we get like a mustard throwback? I would kind of live for that, not gonna lie. And now I'm gonna put it all away. Okay, so I just put away all my cold stuff. And I remembered I needed to clean this out. Can you guys please? Oh my goodness, look at that pantry. It's like a complete mess. Is that really all she has in regards to a pantry? Is those couple of shelves? That doesn't seem right. Please remind me because it's like, I'm having a hard time. Finding We're supposed to remind you to clean out your pantry. Spots, because you guys know this is my version of a pantry here. So it's like, I can shove things. That's your version? I would be upset. Because what's going on there? Like, there's nothing going on. <laughs> you know, where they fit, where they see fit here. Like, I used to finish all my food so quickly. Where's the rest of the pantry? I'm confused. So it's like, I wouldn't have all this, like, random stuff. Like, I literally am obsessed. You guys, these are so good. But I just have a couple a day. These are from uh, Trader Joe's. It's the tortilla chips, the chili and lime. Really? So she has a bag of, like, little tortilla chips, and she just has, like, a couple a day? Mm -hmm. So freaking good, and I still have this many left. That's not me. And I still have those popcorn puffs there. Like, these are thin crackers that I bought, like, literally over a month ago. I'm sitting down and having half the bag. Yikes. That's why I don't buy chips like that. It's just... That often. You know, I don't, like, overindulge like I used to, and it just feels really good to, like, have tons of little options. Really? Like I mean, she's a completely different person now, guys. I can just like take a bite here and there. I know to like a normal person, they're like, yeah, that's like a normal thing. But for me, you know, it never was. Okay, you guys, we do need to talk. I mean, I feel like for me, when it comes to bags of chips, like I'm trying to get in those chips, you know what I'm saying? All right, here it comes, folks. Is this the moment we've been waiting for? Is this why there's so many thumbs down on this? This wasn't something that I was going to bring up now because I can't say like the full story around it. And I know a lot of people hate when I'm oh. like, there's something going on. I'll tell you about it later, which I she literally did this in the previous video. It's going to be something she's doing in every video. Something's going on, but I can't tell you guys. I do wonder if the previous video was about Valentine. Will she address that? See, there's the thing about her having videos that are so old, a week old. Now, if there is something that people are talking about, like for say, let's say a Valentine breakup, she won't be able to address it. We won't see it until like the end of the freaking month at this point. So, girl. Which actually a lot of YouTubers do that. You gotta strike when the iron's hot, right? Is that the saying? I think I said it right. A lot of YouTubers do that. I think it's just her and Alexandra Rodriguez that do that a lot, right? <laughs> but I don't really watch many lifestyle vloggers or whatever you would call Amber Lynn. That's not the typical content that I watch, aside from her and Foodie Beauty. And sometimes Alexandra Rodriguez, these particular women are the only people I watch do vlogs. I don't know why, how I got caught in this rabbit hole, but here we are. <laughs> legitimately true i'm only sharing this now for like continuity reasons and because i feel like my semaglutide story is something that's like a really big thing in my life right now so two days ago when i took my continuity reasons girl we know you love to put those clips out of order fifth semaglutide shot i was supposed to increase my dose so i was supposed to double the dose that i took for the first four weeks because Okay, so that makes sense. I've heard of that. You have to start going up in dosages because people become like they get used to the medication and they need to up the dose. That's just how Ozempic works. But she can't. What happened? Because what happens is your body gets used to these things. Your body mm -hmm. gets used to Ozempic. It gets used to the semaglutide, whatever mm -hmm. injection you're using. So usually it's week five. You increase that dose. But I wasn't allowed to. And the reason why is the section that I can't yet say. But when she can't tell us why they weren't able to increase the dose. That's the thing that she's hiding from the public. I just can't. So of course, you guys know what comes next. 
speculation, rumor and speculation. <laughs> what do you guys think? Why is she not able to up her dose for Ozempic? In the past, when she was on Ozempic before, there was a situation with her gallstones and gallbladder sludge, whatever that is. I would have to do more research. Could it be that she's having a resurgence of sludge? I don't know. And they're waiting until she can get that under control. But when I can tell you guys the reason why I wasn't able to increase it, you guys will definitely understand. And I will be telling you guys soon. There's just some T's I got to cross and some I's I got to dot. And then you guys will know. And it's actually a really exciting reason. So it's going to be worth it. It's a really exciting reason. Maybe she's like getting her gallbladder out. Is that an exciting thing? I don't think that's exciting. It's painful and invasive surgery. But the issue is I'm not going to be able to increase my dose for four more weeks. And that scares me and I feel emotional about it because until she completes whatever this is. Oh, goodness, guys, so much could go wrong. Here she is kind of laying the groundwork so that if in a couple of weeks she actually quits Ozempic and stops taking it for whatever reason she comes up with, we already have that doubt placed in our head. Now, I've been around the block. I've seen this before. This happens very frequently when she's about to drop that bomb of... I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. We're just going to try to go back to counting calories because that's going to work at this late date. I don't think so. Although this Ozempic seemingly has been working. Because I'm sitting here and I've been thinking about food all day long. So the shot oh. that I had on Saturday, obviously. Okay, so the Ozempic is not working anymore. That's what's going on. You know what's a big contributing factor to this? The fact that she's sitting around thinking about food all day. It's because she's spending all of her time at home. At least what we have seen in this vlog. I mean, yeah, she goes out to bingo with Mama Lynn and whatever, whatever. But it does seem like she was at home all day thinking about food. The Ozempic starting to wear off. She needs that stronger dosage so that she can continue. I don't know, folks. I don't know. Is she starting to break? It just, it looks like it. Honestly, I'm not really feeling it and it scares me, but I know that it's going to be worth it. But I'm Oh, she's not even feeling the Ozempic anymore. Wow. Your body gets used to it pretty quick, huh? Four weeks for her to just completely adjust. And I think she's on like 0.25 or 0.25. I don't know. Like the quarter dose, the starting dose. But I'm just like afraid of feeling this for four more weeks. Like, I don't want to feel this way. Like, I very much have been so grateful for some of Glutide. It has taken away food noise. And food noise is very much just like, you know, the constant thinking of food. Like, So that just makes you wonder how much of it is the Ozempic. Now she's putting all of this on Ozempic, her weight loss. And then in the previous video... She was like, it's me. It's all me when responding to a commenter. See how her story kind of changes depending on when it's convenient. So now we're going back to having to deal with our emotions ourselves, not having this medication properly dosed for whatever reason. I mean, apparently it's a good reason, supposedly, allegedly. <laughs> She's off it already, guys. No, because this is a week old, right? She's already off it. She's already up 10 pounds. This is old. Like, what am I gonna eat next? Oh my god, I'm hungry. I want something sweet. I want something salty. I want something crunchy. I want something hard. I don't know. Girl, go out and like do something instead of sitting around the house all day. Take Twinkie to the park. I know when I go out, I'm not thinking about food. I like forget to eat when I'm on vacation. <laughs> forget to eat. Not really, but I won't eat for like a while because I'm busy doing things. And I like to keep myself busy. And then when I'm not, and I'm at home all day, I don't have to work or anything, I want to eat a lot. So I get it. I get it. It's boredom eating. It's something fun to do. <laughs> really adds to the enjoyment of the television program you are watching. Or more likely YouTube slash TikTok. I don't know. Food noise is very much that. It's just like thinking about food all the time. Like, I don't like that. And some glutide took that away from me. And now it's like, since I didn't get to increase my dose... I'm over here just like, oh my God, I'm now having to like do this on my own because I'm practically like starting over in a way. And you guys, you will know why soon. So don't worry. But I'm just kind of like expressing. This is weird. Like I can't think of any reason that would be a good thing. Like she said, like, this is a good thing. What does that even mean? That doesn't make any sense. 
because of course I went straight for the gallbladder sludge because that's what it was the last time. We always have to go on history. And if we go on history, the outlook doesn't look too good for her sticking to this. I mean, she's literally done the same thing before, Ozempic before and stopped so i see my fears right now because i feel like i know like if in a week from now i come on here and i explain to you guys yeah this last week was really hard because i'm a glutide like you know i wasn't able to increase my thing blah 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 you guys would be like why didn't you tell us like are you just lying but i think it's very important that i be transparent and express to you guys that i'm nervous i'm scared i'm fear this is her being transparent she's leaving out half of the story the most crucial part of the story she's leaving out but that's her being transparent okay i mean better to hear it now than down the line when she's 10 pounds up next week and we have no idea why and she's just trying to lie her way out of it because that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't make sense. Once the complaining and the excuses start, that's when you know it's all downhill from here and she's just going to go back to pre-ozempic days, pre semaglutide days. I'm fearful. I have loved just the feeling of just like mm -hmm. not wanting to eat because my whole life I have turn to food for so many reasons sorry like i am definitely an emotional eater for sure like, oh my goodness it's turning into a literal breakdown like most people are especially people who are bigger a lot of people turn to food when they're feeling sad or even when they're happy a lot of people like i get it i'm that kind of person i've heard people talk about when they're sad or upset they don't eat anything they forget to eat i'm the opposite i'm like amber if i'm upset i want to eat it makes me happy people like it's like congratulations or happy temporarily happy birthday let's go out to eat happy anniversary let's go out to eat right food is celebrated for so many different reasons you guys definitely get what i'm saying so even though i have been thinking about food majority of today i still have been on track so right now it's hard to go off of like true intuition so i'm just sort of copying what i have been doing for the last that's what i was thinking if she has been on track for the past four weeks you would think that she would have adjusted to having whatever her regimen was i was thinking like breakfast lunch dinner couple snacks in between not going crazy right so her body would be used to that by now don't they say it takes like 30 days to is it 30 or 45 days to like cement a habit I don't remember last month just like trying to stay in that head frame and still eating the same portions and making the same choices as i have been like increasing my dose would have been absolutely incredible i would have been feeling on top of the world but right now i'm kind of just like going through the process right now and i just have to continue staying strong because i feel she's like mourning the ozempic so good i am beginning to notice my weight loss a lot at first i really just felt it like in the way that i move or like me sitting in my mom's car like it just feels so much better or like my breathing or the way that i walk now i'm noticing certain clothing is fitting me better i'm also noticing my face is looking smaller and there are just like several things that i am noticing like my that's a very good thing when you start to notice that your clothes are fitting a little bit better everything just looks a little bit better not as sloppy and you don't feel like you're like busting out of your shorts or whatever it is like my shoulders just seem like a little more in instead of like out like there's just like random little things and i just want to keep my momentum up so we need to get through this month together and i honestly cannot wait to tell you guys yeah once you're hitting those like little things i do find it a little bit hard to believe that she's noticing all of these changes just because 500 to 470 i mean 30 pounds is a lot to lose but when you're 500 i mean how much can you really tell i guess it's her body so we wouldn't really know I just, you have to go by percentages. Let me do a little cross multiply and divide situation. Okay, so I did a little bit of my own math and for her losing 30 pounds at 500 would be like someone that's 200 pounds losing 12 pounds, okay? Just for reference. And then 572, her losing 100 pounds at 572 would be like someone who's 200 losing 34 pounds so that would definitely be noticeable the 12 pounds going from 200 to 188 yeah you would be able to notice i think but it would just be very subtle it wouldn't be a lot right that's certainly a good amount of weight loss though what is in store it's gonna help me a lot okay guys so it has been a couple hours since i filmed that last clip and i just want to say i'm feeling better i think i just needed to like get that off my chest but like i said at the end of that last clip like it's all gonna be worth it i'm okay i'm just maybe just being a little dramatic but you guys know that about me i am i'm pretty dramatic but i'm 
yeah, girl, I don't know. And we're just left wondering what's actually going on. <laughs> and can we trust you? Because based on the past. Good. Okay. But this also reminded me that I need to give you an update because if you guys remember this. She's good. She's perfectly fine, folks. From a few vlogs ago. Right now I'm in a lot of pain. I think my kidney stone is moving. Oh, yeah. Like, because my pelvis hurts and I have blood. And my I think this was the video we did not react to. Urine again. I'll let you guys know that it was only that day that I was experiencing pain and a little bit of blood in my urine and I haven't had it since, but I'm telling you. So it has nothing to do with the kidney stone or does it? Yeah, maybe that's what it is. They're waiting for her to pass these kidney stones. I don't know if that would interfere with Ozempic in any way, but I guess we'll we'll see what she has to say. That could be something that she was talking about. I mean, that's a good thing to get that out of your body. Usually it does not take weeks, though. Once the pain starts happening, it's 24 to 48 hours, at least in my experience. On you, the pain was so bad. And I heard that if you do like a lot of walking, a lot of moving, it can actually help a kidney stone pass. So I'm thinking, yeah, girl, get up and walk. Just because like I've been super active lately, I think I was making my kidney stone move. And that's honestly the only thing I can think of because super active, super active to her is going out to eat and then walking around a Marshalls, you know, that's what she means by super active. That's pretty normal for most folks. But at least she's not using a scooter. Your girl was hurting and my urine did not look good. But I mean, I have a six millimeter kidney stone, so I'm going to be experiencing a little bit of symptoms. I was going to update you guys in yesterday's vlog, but I totally forgot. That's Maybe they gave her some sort of pain meds for the kidney stone and she can't do that with a higher ozempic dose possibility. I'm doing that now. Memory in Berlin. My memory is like so bad, like random fact about me. I have like the worst memory ever. Okay, guys, so it is the end of the night. Today's vlog was definitely okay. pretty low-key, laid-back vlog. So I figured I would end it here, but we should- It was kind of shocking. To do questions of the day. Did she say her hair is thinning due to menopause? Isn't she 33? Yes, I am 33, but in 2020, I was diagnosed with uterine cancer, so I got a full hysterectomy. We know. So, yeah. Why is she talking in cursive? I'm so confused. Um, that's a good question. I that is kind of the vibe sometimes. You can't even understand what she's saying. I really don't know. I have noticed, like- for years and years, my inflections are kind of different, but I feel like they've gotten a lot more extreme. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, I am gonna end this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed because I know I did and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm worried. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. What do you guys think? Are you a little bit worried? What's going on? Is she gonna be dropping the Ozempic? Is this the end? It's not working anymore. For some reason, there's issues, there's problems. She's not able to up her dosage with it not even working. What's the point? See that logic that she could get to? They won't up my dose, guys. It doesn't even work. So I just thought I could count calories instead. And then that lasts for a couple of days until it slowly fades out of the ether. She continues on with her vlogs. Then she misses a few days and comes back with a weigh-in up 15 pounds. It's a possibility, but... She could also stay the course with Ozempic, do what she needs to do, and get that dosage upped. We shall see. We shall see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, everyone.